Should I unbind Crouch? I have a really bad habit of Crouch spraying. Is a question I get a lot. And let's talk about it. Should you unbind Crouch? Should you never Crouch spray? Is it okay to Crouch spray all the time? Let's talk about it. So, first of all, what is Crouch spraying? Well, Crouch spraying is when you go and see an enemy, you go to take a fight, and as soon as you see him, bam, hitting the Crouch key, holding down the Crouch key, and taking that 1v1. Now, this is a bad habit that's picked up by a lot of players, and the reason why is because it rewards, uh, you know, early on. Because when you're in that committed 1v1 to start, it is going to help you. I mean, let's talk about the benefits of pressing crouch and holding crouch. In the short form, when you're in a committed fight, yeah, I mean, it's going to throw your enemy's cross placement off. You are crouching under their bullets, potentially, if they're aiming at head level, and you might get away with it. You might get awarded with it. However, there's a lot of negatives to crouching. Let's talk about them. Well, let's talk about the first negative. If you go to crouch, you are committed to that fight and you can no longer access your movement. Uh, if an enemy is not committed to a fight, you're going to have a big leg down. Because what you're doing is as soon as you hit crouch, you cannot strafe left or right fast. You cannot uh, tuck behind cover. You are stuck taking that fight. You're very committed. And so a lot of times we see that as a bad thing, especially if the enemy is not out in the open, you know, you're not fighting multiple enemies. Hitting that crouch key uh, is going to punish you because what an enemy could do is it could duck behind cover once they notice you're crouched and then swing back out. And now that you can't move, it's a very easy target for them to lock onto, i.e. your head, and take you out. Additionally, um, if you're ever in more than one enemies at a time fighting, as soon as you commit to that crouch, it's over. You're committed to that fight and you, you can't... Uh, keep going because a lot of times you're gonna get traded um, And so it's what is crouch spraying actually good for or what is you know crouching good for? Well, one thing that we need to know is that it is good for managing recoil So if we're ever spraying a smoke if we're ever, you know having to put down whole MAGA bullets Yeah, it's a good thing to crouch um, Because then you could put down more bullets consistently in a tighter spread than if you're standing up. And so this is where crouch, we want to make sure we have that crouch key available, especially if we're spraying through a smoke or we're trying to wall bang someone, the crouch key is pretty useful and necessary there. Additionally, if we have to commit to a fight, you catch each other off guard, you're not in cover, they're not in cover. A lot of times crouching is going to be the last resort. However, it is going to throw off your opponent. And if you're taking a dedicated 1v1, you're out in the open, they're out in the open, you have to commit to each other. Yeah, crouching works, especially because that gives you that tiny window to take that shot. However, the problem is if you end up missing that shot after crouching, you're a very easy target. You know, you, you miss the two shots that you have when crouching, they could easily adjust from their movement and tap you. So, there's gives and takes. Ultimately, let's talk about it. Should you unbind crouch? No, I don't think that's the, the way to do it. How I think you should practice the problem of you know, crouch spamming every time you see an enemy. Well, first of all, let's get comfortable in a deathmatch. I think using select fire weapons, like a guardian, a deagle, things that you can't really crouch with to begin with, or you get no advantage from it, let's start practicing deathmatches there. Really going for the head, really going for taps. Once we start feeling comfortable with that, then let's work in a vandal. Use it almost like you're using your guardian, just going for taps, but instead of now we're using a vandal. Now, with the occasional burst we might need to bring in there, you can start bursting with the weapon, you know, putting in a few rounds here and there, and occasionally you can throw in a crouch. Ultimately, I'm not saying for you to unbind crouch. I don't think it's a bad thing to be able to do, because it's sometimes great. However, if you overuse it, it's going to become a problem. It's going to be holding your back. So, try and keep it to a minimum. Try and keep it to only the situations I kind of mentioned earlier. And with that knowledge, I hope you sub, hope you follow, and... Hope you take it and rank up with those games. Otherwise, take care and bye-bye.